Shalom, hi. Hi. I have missed you guys so much. It has been weeks since I've been able to properly, you know, come to you with a decent video. I've been sending you bits and pieces from TikTok because I just haven't had any room at all on my phone to record more than a one minute or two minutes worth of work. Um... However, yesterday I bought a new phone. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So let's pick up where we left off. And I'm sharing verses that are completely tied in with my experience when Jesus came for me. This is Miriam Rachel. I am your faithful black sheep. And I am so happy to see you. I could just kiss you right now. <laughs> Hallelujah. Ezekiel is where we are at chapter three. And we're going to begin at verse nine. As an adamant harder than flint have I made your forehead. Fear them not, neither be dismayed at their looks, though they be a rebellious house. And what this is related to is when Jesus was telling me to, to come on YouTube and to bring everything he has shown me to you, um, I was like, I can't. I'm a hermit. I don't, I don't want nothing to do with this world. And he, that's when he told me, I will set you like flint. He said, I will go before you. You are mine. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I've made some wonderful friends on here. Thank you for joining me. Now we are in Job chapter 40, beginning at verse 15. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. This is all about behemoth. So just please write that down and read it because it's very long. I also want you to read chapter 41 entirely because it is about Leviathan. So this is your homework. Chapter 40 of Job, beginning at verse 15, talking about behemoth. And these beasts are going, it's not just behemoth and Leviathan. It's going to be a lot of them. Think about it. The bottomless pit is going to be opened. And all hell will be set loose on the earth. And what this ties in with is that Jesus told me um, not to look outside. Remember, I have told you this in other videos that he said to be sure that you've got blinds or some kind of cover on your windows so that you can shut out the world and so that these things can't look in your windows. And that because if you see them, you'll drop dead just from the fear of seeing them, the terror of seeing them. And you'll drop dead because it's like Lot's wife. We are not supposed to look out on God's glory. Jesus promised me that after the dead are raised, and yes, hell will be set loose simultaneously. <laughs> so we're going to have to wait a minute. And then he will send his angels to come and collect us all. Now let's jump back down here all the way over into Daniel in chapter 7, beginning at verse 3. And four beasts, great beasts, came up from the sea, diverse one from another. The first was like a lion, and he had wings, and he had eagle's wings. I beheld until the wings thereof were plucked, and it was lifted up from the earth and made to stand upon the feet as a man, and a man's heart was given it. And behold, and that is, we know that is the Antichrist. A man's heart will be given to him. Satan will be taking actual flesh. Now, behold, another beast, a second like to a bear. And it raised up itself on one side and had three ribs in the mouth of it between the teeth of it. And they said thus unto it. Arise, devour much flesh. And after this I beheld, and lo, another like a leopard. Now the leopard is the one I saw in my dream, which had upon the back of it four wings of a fowl. The beast also had four heads, and dominion was given to it. And from what I could see, it had scales like a dragon, that when it moved, it was like seal skin, that it would change colors. After this I saw in the night visions, and behold, a fourth beast, dreadful and terrible, and strong exceedingly, and it had great iron teeth. It devoured and broke in pieces, and stamped the remnant with the feet of it, and it was diverse from all the beasts that were before it. It had ten horns, 
And I considered the horns, and behold, uh, there came up among them another little horn, before whom there were three of the first horns plucked up by the roots. And behold, in this horn were eyes like the eyes of a man and a mouth, speaking great things. Okay, so this is talking all about what's going to be happening. So yeah, stay in your house and don't look out. These beasts are going to be running around on the earth. And, and some say they are men, that this is type and shadow. It says beast. Only one of them, the Antichrist, actually takes on the heart of a man. I beheld until the thrones were cast down, the Ancient of Days, that is Yahuwah, the ineffable name of our Father in the highest heavens, the, the breath of life, hallelujah. He did sit whose garment was white as snow. And this is uh, almost right out of Revelation, as we know. And the hair of his head was like pure wool. And that is straight out of Enoch as well. His throne was like the fiery flame and his wheels as burning fire. And we can read Ezekiel chapters 1 and 10 regarding the wheels and the burning fire of them. A fiery stream issued and came forth before him and a thousand thousands ministered unto him. And 10,000 times 10,000 stood before him. That is millions and millions. Um, the judgment was set and the books, the Sepharium, were opened. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's continue. Okay. Right here in chapter 2 of 4th Ezra. We're just going to make a little pit stop here. And therefore, say unto you, O you heathen, that hear and understand, look for your shepherd. Oh, shit. I 